Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Ryan Geist, Truth. It's just so good. And welcome back to Sean's first time eating. When you don't need a knife, don't use it. Kentuxican, Kentuxican. Bourbon hot sauce. Which is more like molasses just sort of spilling out of your mouth. My biggest gripe with barbecue sauces is they're not enough like a hot sauce. And then a lot of the times my beef with hot sauce is that it's too vinegary and not like sugary enough. It's too just Maybe on some level, but also I think psychologically, which I think is more important anyway. Hello, Sean. I am reaching out on behalf of Kentuxican Bourbon Hot Sauce. We thought it would be a great fit for your first time eating segment. Well, Kentuxican, welcome to the channel. By the Seven Sisters. The parents obviously had too many kids, but if it tastes good, that's what matters. Louisville, Kentucky. I'm very excited about this one. I have not really used my Instant Pot for pulled chicken ever. And today together, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna get the Instant Pot out. We're going to pressure cook two pounds of chicken. I've got a dry seasoning blend. I've got onions, I've got jalapenos. And then the most exciting thing, outside of the meat itself, my buddy Nick, Turn me on to Mr. Tortilla. Little Tortilla Boy. They're basically like negative carbs. They're little street taco packages off the website. So these are gonna be our base, our vehicle. So everyone in Detroit says vehicle. 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 To shovel all this delicious food in our faces, we're gonna do the three chilies. One net carb and 15 calories per tortilla. Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they are tacos. I'm glad you're here. Let's get it going. I pot. Trader Joe's, all natural chicken. A lot of times can't tell a difference between boneless, skinless chicken breasts, but for Trader Joe's, for some reason, just hits harder. All right, so I'm gonna use like three fourths. It's always hard to say. Cup of chicken broth. Do they just like obliterate the chickens into liquid for this? Oh, they do. Take the obliterated birds and put them into your Instant Pot. I'm also saying this like I know what I'm doing. Like this is a cook. If you're watching this, by the way, for actual like step-by-step -step instructions on how to do something coherent, that's not what this is. This little dumb web series offshoot thing that I'm doing is just for my own Mental health? And I'm gonna put these right in here. Three of them fit beautifully in this Instant Pot, so this couldn't work. <laughs> okay. This is just gonna make them moister, easier to shred. One. Saying it like anyone's listening. Sometimes I think my therapist is gonna see my YouTube channel and then wanna watch it back like film for a high school football team. <laughs> like they're gonna sit around and like, all right, so what'd you do wrong on this play? <laughs> Every man at some point in his life is gonna lose a battle. So for this recipe, I'm gonna cook the chicken first, add the bourbon hot sauce after. I don't wanna cook it in it. That's traditionally used for like barbecue sauces, you'll do that. For this kind of thing, I'm gonna mix it afterwards and kind of saute it to kind of accentuate the flavors at the end. I think that's kind of the way to do it. I've never cut an onion and not cried like I literally just got broken up with. Like, I'm not even kidding. And it's the same kind of cry too. It's like when you kind of, you're trying to fight through the tears because you keep chopping the onion. You don't leave the room, you fight through it. Damn near almost cut your hand off, which is probably what you want to do after you get broken up with by a really hot girl. It's just trying to- Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! Oh, it hit me as soon as I said it, bro. Oh, it's like I looked on the barrel of the gun. This one's giving me the middle finger, dude. Life is full of adversity that you need to overcome, and this is just one small, easy example of how to overcome it. We're moving to the vegetable cutting board, so if you may have been triggered, all the onions are being cooked with the chicken. Oh, he chops like a psycho, a little bit psycho. Tears, but flavor, dude. I also think people try to be way too like precise. Garlic powder with seasonings for stuff like this. You don't need to be precise for like a savory food. That doesn't matter. Onion powder, salt, pepper, 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 pepper pots. No, you're seriously not gonna. Paprika. Those are kind of like the 
Like the starting five, I would say. Obviously smells incredible. The day of seasoning has come. This is all gonna kinda like come together. You don't have to be too precise about this. Then the onioning, it's not a verb. Oni oni ons. Don't forget to wash your hands. I'm gonna do fresh jalapeno at the end. I don't think I want it in there now. And this is the delicious mixture we have in here right now in the old Instant Pot, huh? Ceiling. Is that the right way? No. All right. Just... I mean, I don't care who you are. That's very rewarding. <laughs> Pressure cook. Go faster. Um, I'm gonna do, f I'm gonna do thir 13 minutes. Start. Thank you. Whoa, it was like an Alexa. <laughs> I think while we're waiting, why don't we try this, like a spoonful of this, before we dump it all over our food. I'm just assuming it's good. <laughs> Would you like a limited time discount code to offer viewers? Yeah, sure, I mean, 10 Sean FT. What's FT stand for? Oh, first time. Oh, that's cool. 10 Sean FT. Damn, this has got like a four and a half star rating though. Good for you. This is before I came along and changed the game, huh? I've opened a lot of hot sauce bottles in my life. My God. All right, here we go. Also, by the way, Marita Habanero and Carolina Reaper. Cool, so not mild. That is... Whoa. My sense is... That is so crazy. It smells like a barbecue sauce up front and then like a super spicy... That's okay, so, I mean, on smell alone. Oh, and it's thick. That is a good consistency. It just made a lot of sense for pulled chicken tacos. That is gonna be so good on pulled chicken tacos. Artsy shot behind the Instant Pot. Oh, wow. Show this camera. Ooh, look at that. Look at the precision. Look at the lack of any culinary skills at all, but for some reason making content like he has any business being in the space. <laughs> I think I'll do an avocado too, but we'll wait to open this until we're ready because you know these go bad in about 38 seconds. Don't yell. Do it quietly. Too many beeps, obviously. Enough. All right, I'm gonna let this naturally release for like three or four more minutes, and then I'm gonna shoot all this steam out of it. I just straight up used my meat thermometer to also vent. Stand back, this is the most terrifying thing about owning an Instant Pot. <laughs> Cooking's weird, man. <laughs> it's like a sun in here. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Thickest part of the chicken, yeah, 175. You wanna be 165 or higher, so we good. Well, that smells insane. All right, time to remove and time to shred. I love when you just know there's no way something's gonna be bad. Like, you know you're like, you got far enough in the race where you're like already happy with, with what you've done. That's where I'm at. Aromatics, man. All right, let it rest for a minute or two, and then start just wolverining. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just falls right apart. Just shred it. It's incredible what like 20 minutes in a giant pot with some broth and heat and an electric outlet will do. Dumbest thing I've ever said. I really get into it. Sometimes the simplest meals are the best. I don't know what it is. It's just like, you don't need to get intricate to do greatness. Do I look like I'm having fun? <laughs> Damn, look at that. That second angle's nice. Try just a piece of this. <laughs> Why is it so tender? Any way you want it, that's the way you need. Sometimes I just really get into the cinematics of this, you know? All right, I'm gonna transfer the remnants. You don't wanna get rid of these. I'm gonna keep it.
Okay, here's where it gets real interesting. We're gonna put the shredded chicken back into the Instant Pot. We're gonna put just a little bit of our broth gravy back in there, just to increase the succulence. Just a little bit. I'm gonna turn it to saute, and then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put the whole damn bottle in here. That's an entire bottle gone. <laughs> All right, stir it up just to kind of get everything to come together. You know how it is. You know how you want a sauce to be all over the entire thing. That's what you want to do here. I kind of like some shredded pieces, like real shredded, like fine, and then a little bit of the chunk, you know what I mean? I kind of like my mouth and my brain to be left guessing throughout the entire meal. This saute here will just kind of have it all come together. It's too loud. Shout out Mike's vlog. Whoa. <laughs> a little bit of oil. Let it get hot. Toss a few of these bad boys on here, huh? These all nice and crisped up. Three chili, man. This is gonna be great. I assemble on cutting boards because it's not because I'm lazy. I normalize cutting boards as plates. Nick, you gotta do this. Turn that off now. Alright. I'm so wow. We got our crisped up tortillas. Kentuxican whole chicken. There we go. Look at these little street tacos, dude. I'm gonna eat about 50 of these. Ooh. Look at that. A couple of jalapenos on each. Still wanna do avocado. Perfection. Little avocado strip in each one. Damn, these are looking good. I'm from the Midwest, I'm gonna do a little bit of ranch on one of them. Calm down. I'll do one as is, and then I'll do one with some sour cream. I mean, come on. I'm very proud of that. I'm very invested in the chicken, but I'm very proud of that. I could have done a lot more to it, but I'm starving. I love the slow-mo camera because I can drink while I shoot B-roll. Kentuxican pulled chicken street tacos for the first time ever. Only one thing left to do. Bon appetit. <laughs> that sauce works so well on this. I knew it was going to. Just the right amount of heat. Good acidity, it all mixes well. I love the ranch and the sour cream is gonna be great too. I love that. Avocado gives it a creaminess out of this world. Do this, all jokes aside, all dumb, dumb jokes aside, do this. I'll throw my Amazon link for this down below and then also a discount code if you guys wanna get it. I'd say pulled chicken or pulled pork, can't go wrong. Thanks for watching guys. Mm. I made you four with the whole wheat tortillas. Oh my god. They look so good. I think I already want like four more. It smells so good. Holy fuck.